what's up YouTube and Amazon Jefferson here with Sumigang Productions and this is the Uplay smartphone gimbal I got this on Amazon and I want to thank Bella TV for sending me this unit to review I'll provide a link on my YouTube channel description box if you want to read a little bit more about it and by using that link you're also supporting my channel I previously owned a smartphone gimbal before it was the Evo smartphone gimbal if you watch that review, think of this gimbal as that, but on steroids. You're able to do so much more with this gimbal, and because of that, it also makes an amazing vlogging rig too. I created a dedicated unboxing video of this gimbal. If you want to watch that video, just click here and it'll take you there. On the front, you'll find a tiny LED indicator letting you know if it's powered on, what mode it's on, and etc. Underneath this, you'll find the joystick. Depending on what mode you're on, for example, semi-follow mode, lock, or fully following mode, you're able to control the roll, the pitch, or the yaw, also known as the heading or direction. Before I show you how these three modes work, let me show you how to power this gimbal on first. By pressing and holding the power button for about 3 seconds, you'll see a solid red LED indicator appear. This means the gimbal is on soft starting mode, and according to the back of the box, this consumes zero power. Mount your phone into the cradle, and I recommend making sure the camera is on the left side, and you also have to make sure the motor is on the right side of the stick. Let it hang and make sure it's on a leveled surface, and press the power button once and it will calibrate on its own. Once your phone is leveled, you could adjust the different modes by pressing the record button twice. By default, the gimbal is on semi-follow mode. This will only move left and right and will lock your roll and pitch. This means your phone will only move in this direction and lock everything else. While in this mode, the joystick will control your pitch with the up and down direction and the left and right will control your yaw or your direction. Double press the record button and this will switch you to the fully following mode. It's similar to the semi follow mode but when you move the gimbal up and down, the gimbal will move your phone up and down as well. This is a great way to mimic handheld without any jitter. During in this mode, the joystick will control your pitch which moves your phone up and down and the left and right are locked which means it doesn't do anything. Double press the record button again and this will take you to the last mode which is the heading lock mode. While on this mode, this will only face forward no matter where you move your gimbal. This is perfect if you're tracking someone walking forward and you don't want the camera to move around if your hand moves. The joystick command in this mode, the up and down arrow will control your pitch and the left and right will control your pan or your yaw. That's pretty much it when it comes to switching between the modes and using the joystick. Let's talk about the record button for a bit. This is definitely my favorite feature and this is a huge reason why I love this gimbal so much. This gimbal broadcasts its own Bluetooth. It's called AI Bird UO Play. And after you connect to it, you're able to use it. When you open your default camera app on your phone, if you're on the picture mode, this will take a picture. And when you switch to video mode, this will start and even stop your video recording. How convenient is that? This is definitely an amazing way to remove all possibility of jitter while recording and even snapping a few pictures. On the right of this control panel, there's a micro USB port. Honestly, I'm not sure what this is used for. At first, I thought you could charge your battery while it's inside this, but I guess it doesn't. I tried looking at the manual too, and I didn't find anything about it. Towards the bottom of the gimbal, you'll find a quarter inch mount. This is perfect for mounting this onto a tripod. You can mount a magic arm to hold other things like an LED light or a GoPro. There's so much you could do with this as long as you have the right tools. This is powered by two 900 milliamps 18350 batteries and these are common. You can find a lot on Amazon and the lowest I've seen with Prime is about $10. I 
I'm sure you'll find some in your local battery store. But this does come with two sets of batteries and I thought that alone was awesome. So while you're using one set, you can charge the other with the charger and have it hooked up to the battery bank since the charger uses a micro USB cable for power. This can be powered on for about four to five hours. This is depending on how large your phone is and how often you're moving your camera and making the motors work. This obviously can fit a small phone like mine, which is an iPhone 5S, but it's also able to fit a large phone like an iPhone 6S Plus. Since I don't own or have access to a Galaxy Note or other similar phones, I can't really test if they fit, but check out the spec sheets on Amazon to see if it does. When using a large phone like the iPhone 6S Plus, you do need to mount the counterweight. I love how the counterweight itself lets you know when you need to use it. So phones between five to six inches are when you need to use it. It simply screws onto this motor where the phone is mounted on. Unfortunately, when the counterweight is attached and you power down your gimbal, it doesn't allow clearance for it to hang freely. It does hit the base, so be careful when you're putting this away. The other awesome part about this gimbal is when you power it down. Unlike my Evo gimbals, the motor on this will wind down gently, lowering down your phone so it doesn't hit the motor or base and potentially damaging your phone. This feature alone is huge because it increases the longevity of the gimbal and on your smartphone. My other favorite feature of this gimbal is how you can use this in portrait mode. It even goes there automatically by pressing the record button three times. Isn't that freaking sick? Because this gimbal is able to go in portrait mode, you're also able to hook up a GoPro or a action cam to this. Check it out. The design of this gimbal is flawless in my opinion. There's a rubber grip handle which helps me out a lot. It doesn't make it slippery and the capabilities and features this has compared to its competitors are day and night. Before I end my review, I want to post a few sample clips of this in action. However, because this review is getting pretty long, check out my YouTube channel as it will have a dedicated video showing this gimbal in action. We got a good amount of stuff, I would say. Right, your son? Yeah. If you guys have any other questions or comment, be sure to leave them in the comment box below. I'm more than willing to answer any questions you guys may have. If you like this video, or if you just found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel a lot. Like always, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day. The top is really padded. I'm not too sure how this would work during shipping, but this whole portion is plastic, so I'm not sure.